This is the raw material for jeans, jackets, and industrial fabric. Thousands of cotton bales are stored in this warehouse in Bremen. Each bale weighs about 220 kilos. Germany imports 50,000 tons of raw cotton every year. Much of it ends up in Gerhard Ludwig's warehouses. At the moment, we're importing a lot of cotton from the United States. We're also stockpiling cotton from Sudan and West Africa. We buy cotton wherever it grows and wherever the prices are good. In Europe, the price of cotton is set on the Bremen Cotton Exchange. That's also where additional quality controls are conducted. Cotton samples from all over the world are tested here to internationally recognized standards. Prices are currently stable, but that could change. Over the last few years, there's been a good selection of cotton, but China has bought up a lot of it and put it into storage as a strategic reserve. That's kept the price of cotton relatively steady. But it's also clear that China will have to sell those reserves at some point, and that's the big question now. That's a question all cotton processors are asking. Buy now or wait till China floods the market and prices hit rock bottom. The answer is especially important to German producers because despite the high degree of automation here, production costs are still far higher than in Asia. Many customers have already turned to Asia. Spinning Works owner Ernst Gümmelt has had to make changes. We were mainly involved in the casual wear segment, but that slumped massively. Our customers now source their supplies in low-wage countries like Pakistan and India and other regions. That segment's completely collapsed. Now we're focused on industrial textiles like backing materials and coated abrasives. And with very good quality, we see very good opportunities in Germany. But competition is heating up in that segment as well. Asian companies can also offer a high level of made-to-measure production, flexibility and service. But Velina Textiles has one major advantage. It's much closer to its customers, who are mainly European.